Dr. Dreadful Lab. Ooh. Hi lovelies, it's Emmy. I am back to eat some candy, do a candy making kit. This was sent to me, so it's kind of a combination what you eat and Emmy eats video. This was sent to me by Jake. Jake is a viewer that lives in the United States, and he sent me this. Dr. Dreadful Zombie Creepy Clinic <laughs> candy making kit. Includes three different things. A uh, hand pop, snot shot, and spider eggs. So this looks like a really fun, involved kit. I've never made one of these before, but I think it's going to be somewhat similar to some of the pop and cooking kind of things, at least with the, the spider egg thing. So the first one I'm going to do is pretty simple. It's the hand pop. So you get this mold, and it comes apart like that. Put the hand in the holder and just fill it up with juice. So I've got some orange juice here. I'm just going to fill it up. And then I'll have to come back to it because I'm going to obviously have to freeze it, right? So fill it up. Try not to spill anything. <laughs> Pop that in there. And then I'm going to put this in the freezer and let it set up. I think it's going to probably take a couple hours for the hand to freeze. So I'll be back with that. So that's what the spider egg experiment comes with. One, two, three. Give it a good stir. One, two. This one's definitely thicker in consistency. Next, take the eyedropper and suck up some of the gel. And just like pop and cook and sushi, drip them into the solution. Pull them up. There they are. And look at that. Can you see them up close? How awesome. It looks just like ukura, which is salmon roe. And all right, so moment of truth. Let's taste some of these. These are a little bit different than the pop and cook and ones. They're like pink in color as opposed to orange. Um, but the same idea, two kind of chemicals put together with a little bit of water and dripped into the water to make this row. So let's try it. Here we go. Spider eggs down the hatch. Hmm. That's fun. It's the same kind of texture. It's like a jelloed, kind of jello jiggler texture. Gelatin and soft. And they kind of just, they don't really pop, but they just are like jello in your mouth. Definitely a different flavor. This is definitely some kind of berry flavor. It's a bit like strawberry chapstick. That's what it's like. It's not exactly pleasant. Um, smells very artificial and, you know, the texture is fun. But I think the main point of this is the, the process of making them, which is pretty incredible. So next we're going to make some snot. And this too also comes in two packets. You get the earwax and the snot, but I'm going to do the snot. So I'm going to take the ear wax and the snot mix out. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And it's definitely thick and green flecked. Kind of snotty. Place the syringe top onto this base on here. That's how we load the snot into there. Look how cool that is. You see that? Filling it up. Oh, so cool. So you squirt it all the way in there. So now my tube is filled with snot. Now I take the syringe plunger. I'm going to put it into the base like this. And the snot's going to come out. Ready? Here we go. Oh, it's so gnarly. <laughs> so you squeeze on the plunger and the snot comes out the nostrils. Yeah! So gross, but very satisfying to squeeze it out and to have it extrude out of the nostrils. Okay, so let's taste this knot. Here we go. It smells, it doesn't smell unpleasant. The texture is unpleasant. Look, that's disgusting, but let's taste it. Here we go. Oh, wow. 
That's foul. Oh, that is so gross. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. It tastes a bit like cake batter. It's kind of vanilla-y, but it just tastes disgusting. It's very, very sweet. Maybe they have artificial sweetener in there. It almost has kind of a, a bittersweet flavor. That's gross. Totally gross. I'm not going to eat it again. The other one wasn't bad. It was just tasted, you know, like artificial strawberry jelly or something. You know, not, not great, but this is totally unpleasant and wrong. Hello? Hello? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm using my new blue ear technology. Yeah. There it is. Dun da da da. The frozen hand. Yum, it's good. So it just tastes like frozen orange juice because that's what it is. Out of the three things that I had in the Dr. Dreadful kit, this definitely tastes the best. <laughs> and thank you, Jake, so much for sending me this great package. I had a lot of fun putting these little things together. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you want to see some more candy kits, you can go to any one of these and see some more there. You know, do all that good stuff down there. Give me a boop, boop, boop. And I'll see you in my next video. When I was in preschool, the kid next to me got a bead stuck up their nose. Slightly traumatic.